Installation and Running Pig Did you know 200 lines of MapReduce programs can be written in 10 lines of pig code? Yes, Apache Pig reduces development effort to a great extent. Well, in this video, I'm going to teach on how to install Apache Pig. Then, I will also explain two ways to execute the pig commands. By the end of this video, you will be able to install Apache Pig on your machine and get started. You will also get to know the different ways to execute the pig commands. Installing Apache Pig How to install Apache Pig The prerequisite for installing Apache Pig are Hadoop 1x or 2x, Java 1.7. If you don't have Java 1.7 already, you can install from the below site. Apache Pig can be installed using the below three steps. 1. First step is to download the Apache Pig latest stable release from Apache Mirror Sites. At the time of making this video, the latest release is 0.16.0, .0, and the link for the 0.16.0 .0 release is highlighted. We can use the wget command to download the gzipped file as shown below. 2. Secondly, we need to extract the gzipped file using tar-xvzf command. 3. Third step is to edit the .bashrc file. The bashrc file will be in the home user directory. In the bashrc file, verify if the path is correct for the following variables. They all should point to their installation folders. Pig's bin directory should be specified in path variable. Let me show these steps in an Ubuntu machine. First, I am typing pig and hitting enter. It says no such file or directory. Next, I am executing the wget command to download pig. Before executing, I am making sure I am in the right location where I need pig files to be available. Executing wget command has downloaded the latest pig 0.16.0 .0 version from the Apache Mir site as gzipped file. pig 0.16.0.tar.gz. Next, I am going to extract the files using tar xvzf command. Here, the gzipped file is being extracted and loaded into the pig directory as pig 0.16.0. I'm going to rename and make the folder as pig. Finally, I'm going to home user directory and edit the .bashrc file. Here, I am making sure if the pig underscore home, path, java underscore home variable are set properly. We need to make sure that these are pointing to their installation folders. Path variable should be appended with pig's bin directory. Now that the installation is completed, I am typing pig and hitting enter. Wow, we are in pig shell, which is grunt console. Next, let's see how to execute the pig commands in shell. Two ways to execute the pig commands. There are two ways to execute the pig commands. One is through grunt console and the other is by executing as pig scripts. First, let us look at the grunt console, and I'm going to walk you through it. As we did earlier, to enter the grunt console, type pig and hit enter. Notice here we are seeing grunt prompt, which means we are in grunt console. You can access HDFS files from within the grunt console using fs commands. I am typing fs hyphen is file name. You can see the HDFS file names are listed. I am typing control E and it moves the cursor to the end of the line. I can press the tab key to expand the commands. For example, if I type L O and press the tab, then it auto completes the command as load. I can press the up arrow in the keyboard anytime to revisit the older commands. We can also explore the list of commands using help command. 
Finally, I am typing quit command to come out of grunt console, or alternatively, you can press Ctrl D to come out of the console. Next, I'm going to walk you through the steps to execute the pig commands as a pig script. This needs to be executed from the normal console and not from within the grunt console. Here, I am keeping the pig commands within a file and I am saving it as a .pig file. Now, let's execute this pig script file using the pig space script name command. In this video, we saw how to install the Apache pig on a local machine. We also saw two ways to execute the pig commands, one through grunt console and the other by executing as a pig script. In the next video, we will learn about the Apache Pig's data model, using which you will be able to describe your data to Pig.